just about time to start your holiday shopping. And while you look for gifts for your family, you can also pick out something special for a child or senior in need. Yeah, it's a really great way to make someone's holiday. New Six's Carolina Cardona joins us now live from the Mall of Millennia, where the Salvation Army's Angel Tree program just started today. Carolina. That's right, you guys, how exciting. Right now, the quartet has just began to play a wonderful Christmas tune. Now, this year, 5,000 angels are up for adoption here at Mall at Millennia. We're actually at the entrance of the food court, the main entrance. There are still dozens of angels that you can choose from. We have seen several people throughout the day stop by here to get an angel. We did speak with one mom who tells us that by adopting an angel, it reminded her of her childhood. It makes my heart just so so happy and full. You know, we this year has been a rough year all around. I think everyone has a different story, but to be able to, to give these kids uh, some hope and some happiness on a day that may not may not be there just makes my, my heart just so overfilled with joy. Lindsay Lake was the first person to adopt an angel at the Mall at Millennia location in Orlando. We found two uh, infants and we currently have an infant and that just really resonated with my heart. And we picked up a little boy um, who, we have a boy, so I got two girls who we can gift um, baby things to. But she didn't choose just one. She left with three angels. We have family for six kids register. How can they provide for that? Especially in these times that we're living right now that most of the people lost their job, lost their house. Each year, the Salvation Army Angel Tree Program brings joy and smiles to children around the country, children and seniors whose families have hit hard times. You might think that a $20 gift is not enough, where for that child means the whole world. They are here because they need you. They need you, not because they want to. Flosilda Concepcion has been with the nonprofit since 1992. It's awesome to be with the Salvation Army is to serve the community uh, spiritually and physically. We serve the community as a calling that we have from the Lord to do this. But this year, the hand picking of an angel from the tree will be different because of the pandemic. Like so many other organizations, they've had to change the way they do things to make sure everyone stays safe and healthy. The person will be walked by a volunteer. It can look to the angels and choose the ones they want, and we pick up the angels. So now, if you have not adopted an angel, you have until December 11th if you want to do it in person. Also, there is a virtual option now because of the pandemic. So the Salvation Army has a uh, link where you can do an adoption via online. And we'll have those details live at 430. Guys, back to you. Oh, Carolina, love hearing the music. Thank you. Mall at Millennia isn't the only location that has the angel tree. You can go to any of the several in-person locations to see you see right there on your screen for a pickup or you can adopt one of 5,000 angels virtually. We've posted all the instructions at clickorlando.com slash angel tree and make sure you type the words angel tree in lowercase letters when going to the website. Makes a difference. As of today, 1,687 angels have been adopted. Now that's just 85 more than what we saw yesterday. So we still have a ways to go until we reach our goal of 5,000. And a reminder, gifts must be returned by December 11th.